Hello! Welcome to a First Impressions unboxing video of a new pen. It is I, Aziza, Gourmet Pens. This pen was sent over by Benu, so thank you so much, Benu, for sending this for me to look at. It is a super exciting pen because it is very unlike many other pens that are out there. It's not a standard black pen with gold trim. It is bright and colorful. I really like it. So let me just show you the box because I actually very much like the Banu packaging. It is just a very small box. It is, <laughs> it is cardboard so it's recyclable. It is reusable. The pen is shipped in a paper sleeve, no plastic. There is a bed of shredded paper at the bottom for padding that is slightly scented. Very nice, kind of like flowers. And there is a paper that tells you about your pen, product care, two year warranty, and there's contact information at the bottom, but I really like this. It's very useful if, for a new user, but then when you're done, you can either keep it or you can recycle it. So keep up the good work on the packaging, Banu, because I think, it's great. I would take this over a sailor box any day. I might be a weirdo in that regard, but anyway, the pen. This is the new hexagon. This is the D color. There is A, B, C, D. I think there's an E. Um, but what they all have is this hexagon pattern on them and the cap. I don't know if you could see the band. It's got a They've got little facets there and the each each letter has different colors so this one is like pink purple with blue and gold sparkles and the center band and the end of the barrel is clear but like a blue clear and the section is also clear so pretty i really like this ticks all my boxes colorful bright fun i love hexagons so it's just really fun um, it has very minimal branding on it. The Banu is written right here. Other than that, it's pretty plain in terms of branding. But like, look at this, this is so neat. Now I have a, uh, a converter in there and you can actually, I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see that, right? Yeah, you can. You can see your ink sloshing, so you could, it's like an ink window. So if you wanted to eyedropper this, it's a good candidate. Now, I actually find them quite comfortable in general. All the Banu pens have really long sections, so even if there's a ridge, it's so far back that it really shouldn't be in your way. It can be posted. It's a light pen. It's really nice. They use standard international cartridge converter, or you can use, use it as an eyedropper. Um, they don't supply anything for eyedroppering, so you have to do that by yourself. But the converter they use is a Schmidt converter. Thank you for using a quality converter that's not gonna fall apart. I, I mean, there are more inexpensive converters out there, but they are cheap and they fall apart and it's really annoying. So, because it's just also a lot of waste. So I, I like that they're Schmidt. Now, I have complained about this in the past and my only major issue is that the nibs are Schmidt nibs, but they are, they perform really well excellent writing experience but they are not rebranded so it just says schmidt and it has the nib size and all that and i know there's nothing wrong with it but the thing is the package they're presenting is so nice otherwise like the very simple tidy presentation the really fun pens everything is theirs except for the nib so and the converter but the converter is not a big deal so i would love to see them rebrand the nib but Hopefully they'll do that, but in the meantime, I will enjoy the pens because they are really bright, really fun. I mean, look at this thing, it's it's wild. And if we compare it to, do I have anything simple? Mm, I have nothing plain inked. Wait, and it's totally fine. This is not gonna appeal to everybody. I know a lot of people find them too out there, but like, here's a Mont Blanc 146. Very beautiful pen, but like, like if you want to get a kid into handwriting, you know, this seems more appealing, like more fun. So I really like what Banu is doing. They're doing really fun designs, really unique things. 
and the Schmidt nibs that they have provided are excellent writers. So at least you know it's going to write really well. Now the Hexagon D I have written here at 90 US. So you can get a gold nib for $90 elsewhere, but it's not going to look like this and it's not going to be as fun. So it depends what you're looking for, but I don't think it's an unreasonable price if you consider the market for fountain pens right now. And you know what? If you think it's too expensive, don't buy it. That's cool. But it's really fun. Yay. So thank you, Benu, for sending this for a review. Let's take a look at how it writes and I'll see you in a second. Hello, welcome to the writing portion of the Bennu Hexagon D. I think this pen looks really cool under the light. Super bright, really pretty. I know it's not gonna be for everyone, but I like it. Now it doesn't roll because it's got this faceted center band, but let us write. Okay, we have the Bennu pen. This is also a broad nib. This ink comes from a friend. Thanks, Peter. I thought it was a fun, bright pairing. So, there you go. As with all Banu pens, no issues. It's just, it performs really well. So, I, I, although I complain about the nibs not being rebranded, they perform really well, and that's the whole point of a pen. But I would still love it to see that done at some point. So there you go. I hope that is helpful for you in your decision making. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you to Banu for sending this over. I would love it if you would like and subscribe. It'd be much appreciated. You can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. So, everybody, we will see you next time. Au revoir.